much of a blogger. I, uh, I don't appear in my videos very much, uh, so I'm, I'm kind of awkward and I'm a little self-conscious. I uh, don't know what to do with my hands, but uh, let's see what we can do here. This is a video response to Quiet as a Mouse, who uh, mentioned me in a video, and I was so happy that I thought I had to do a reply. Uh, I uh, like her videos very much. I recommend that you check her out. She does some. Uh, uh, she talks about books. She talks about uh, fandoms that she's interested in. Uh, she talks about projects, things that she's making. Uh, and does some wonderful travelogue sort of views of places and has a really good eye uh, for she has the camera's eye she really can uh, find those interesting little details that, that, that make them uh, fun to watch uh, she did a video and I'll link to it I'll uh, put a link to it and to her channel in the comments she did a video about um, she's cleaning her room, getting rid of things, uh, and uh, showed off a few very, very cool things that uh, she had laying around, and uh, I said that uh, we should all do that, uh, show off some of those cool things we have laying around, and I have a lot, you know, like the Adams Family, my, my house is a museum, but uh, what I wanted to limit myself to were things that I had carted around since I was a little kid. Uh, not just curios that I've uh, acquired in recent years. So these are things I've had since I was a little boy. This is my compass, uh, which I used from about the second grade on. And uh, it's, it's quite old. It was an antique when I got it. Uh, has a little box. It's Eagle Pencil Company. The Eagle Pencil Company is still around. Has directions. Can you see that? I don't think we can get the light on it right. Uh, directions for using the compass and divider. It's a very nice little object with uh, which I know this is not going to show, but it has uh, stamped into the steel a pattern of grape leaves. Uh, on fasces going up both legs of the divider. It, uh, the tips are removable. You have a pen. Let's see, that's the pen to dip in the ink or a point. And you have a pencil or a point. And I never used the pen, just the pencil. Uh, it's a very, very handsome little object. I've had that since I was about eight or nine, and has a little pencil case to keep your extra pencil leads in. So, really nice little piece, and I have been carting that around for the last ooh, long time. And then there's this one. The old. This is a radiometer. When I was a boy, about the same age as I got the compass, we went to visit NASA. And I got this in the NASA gift shop. I would like to show you how it works, but it's a pretty cloudy day. We'll have to see if that's gonna gonna do a thing, but I'll have to get up out of my very messy little office here. Inside the glass bulb, the air has been mostly evacuated uh, so it doesn't create uh, friction or force uh, uh, which would prevent the veins from turning. And light striking the veins, reflecting off the white side and being absorbed by the black side will actually cause the veins to spin around. Unfortunately, it's a cloudy day and the sunlight is not doing very much and it is just sitting there. So I'm going to give it a little assist with a flashlight. 
here we go turn on the flashlight and is it gonna do it there it goes being spun around by nothing but light alone I will link to the radiometer uh, page in Wikipedia for anyone who's interested they're, they're cool little devices and they're quite fragile too uh, it's amazing that I have had this since I was a little kid and have carted around carted it around through all the moves from here to there one does as one grows up and moves away from home it was made by Windsor Electronics of Glen Ellen Illinois I don't think they're around anymore but if they are hey guys you did a good job insulators uh, telegraph and telephone insulators I used to collect these as a kid I love this one it's like a glass Dalek it's, uh, there's a name for all of the different designs I think that, that I don't remember people call it a beehive I, I might be known as a signal something like that in the trade they could be, I, I would ride my bicycle out into the countryside and follow the railroad tracks and alongside the telegraph, uh, the railroad telegraph lines these would be discarded or would uh, slowly unscrew themselves through the heat cycles of uh, summer and winter and cold and hot they're interesting, they're made out of glass there was a lot of uh, different designs and efforts made to make them more insulating, uh, make them shed water or prevent uh, a short circuit. And there is a, one of these is a transposition, which has a has two grooves for the wires to pass through, so that two wires running side by side would every once in a while trade places making the course of the wires over miles actually uh, a helix like a DNA double helix uh, coiling around itself to prevent uh, losses of the signal so I certainly recognized what the Rills used to create their ammonia-producing machine in the first Doctor story, Galaxy 4. I'd like to show you my pachinko machine with its 1959 Chevy taillight design and its unforgettable slogan, There! What that? That's Great Hole! But this video is long enough already, so I will save the pachinkos for another time.